Uh, this is Dr. Greg Gillum, CEO of Human Fusion, and welcome to the next step in our change process. We're in step four now, and that is communicating the vision. So we've, we've established a sense of urgency, we've created the right team, we've created the vision, and now it's time to communicate the vision. Seven principles here that Cotter outlines in the book. Number one is keep it simple. Make it as simple as possible. So one of the one of the examples he gives of a very simple message is we're going to become faster than anyone in our industry at satisfying customer demands. Very simple. Everybody can remember that. Everybody can get behind that. And it guides behaviors, right? I mean, if our, if our behavior uh, meets that goal, then that's the right behavior. Uh, number two, use metaphors and analogies. So the one that he uses in the book is like, we need to be less like an elephant and more like a customer-friendly Tyrannosaurus Rex. So paints a very uh, vivid image uh, using that particular metaphor. Number three, use many different forums to spread the word. So as many different communication channels as you have, newsletters, uh, company, um, um, you know, uh, monitors in the break rooms, uh, all community or company-wide meetings, uh, talk about it at your manager's meeting, tell them to cascade it through their one-on-ones, every available means. And then repeat, repeat, repeat. That's number four principle, repeat, repeat, repeat. So he talks about, you know, finding four opportunities a day every couple of hours to talk about the vision to someone. If you take 25 executives and do four times a day for six months, you're, you've got 12,000 times you've talked about the vision. And of course, lead by example. Every chance you get, behave within the vision. Um, that's number five. Number six is explicitly address any inconsistency. So you remember in the last video or so, we've talked about um, getting rid of the company jet. <laughs> We may, not, not, we may not get rid of it, but we're going to keep it out of sight. And if we need to use it, if it really facilitates getting from point A to point B, uh, and everyone knows that, the, that you've got to fly on the company jet, then, then, then talk about that. Talk about, the, hey, we didn't want to do it, but it really, we had to meet this customer very quickly. And so we met the demand. So we were, we were utilizing the vision uh, when, you know, when it was uh, presented to us. And then number seven, listen um, and be listened to. So explain uh, the vision and then listen to the feedback that people give you and talk about that feedback at manager meetings. Uh, make sure the guiding team, uh, the guiding coalition knows the feedback that you're hearing as managers. Uh, make sure that gets up. If you're not on that team, make sure that that feedback gets to that team. Um, and then the, the one thing that, that I would say here um, that um, may not be quite so uh, uh, explicit is make sure your managers know how to communicate in a right-brained way. So many managers lean a lot towards their left. They're very, they love factual, um, very algorithmic type of information. They love to communicate that, but, but they're not quite so good at nuanced information, sort of the more right-brained leadership, vision kind of communication. So it wouldn't hurt to make sure that um, you get some training, have the managers go through some training about how to communicate in this sort of nuanced way. So that's step number four, communicating the vision. And in our next video, we'll talk about step number five. If you like management-related videos like this, Please subscribe to Human Fusion and we'll keep you up to date on all the latest trends that are affecting your management practice today.